another recipe video and today's video I'm going to be making a delicious oatmeal recipe that's perfect for meal prepping on the weekend and enjoying throughout the week. This recipe is for my baked chocolate cherry oatmeal. I'm going to use two types of chocolate. We have chocolate chips and then some cocoa powder and then for the cherry part which I think takes this baked oatmeal to the next level. I'm going to be using some Michigan dry cherries. These are one of my favorite ingredients to use and they get nice and plump while the oatmeal bakes and they're just so good. And then it's going to be naturally sweetened with some maple syrup and the mashed banana and it's going to be super easy to make and it reheats really well so it's perfect for meal prepping. So let's go ahead and get cooking. So in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add our wet ingredients first. So I have two cups of unsweetened almond milk. And a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. And then I have one large banana that I have mashed. going to add a tablespoon of avocado oil. You could also use melted and cooled coconut oil as well. And I'm going to use about two tablespoons of almond butter. You could also use peanut butter. It's one and two. I really love the almond butter with the dry cherries. I think almonds and cherries go really well together. And then I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So I'm gonna just give this a mix. Make sure that almond butter gets incorporated. Then I like to add the cocoa powder with the wet ingredients because sometimes the cocoa powder can be a little clumpy and then this just ensures that it won't be as clumpy when it bakes. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in as well. And the rest of our dry ingredients, I have a tablespoon of ground flax seed, a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I'm just going to go ahead and give this a stir. in the rest of the ingredients until everything is incorporated together. It already smells so good with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And who says you can't have chocolate for breakfast? Okay, that looks good. Now we're just gonna pour it into our baking dish. I really like to make my baked oatmeal recipes in a pie dish. I think it just makes for a prettier presentation and I like to slice it as you would a pie. And so I'm just going to pour the batter in here. Make sure to get all of the oats. Okay, then let's just smooth it out. Then I 
already have our oven preheated at 375 degrees. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this in the oven and bake it until it is done. Our baked chocolate oatmeal is done. It smells so good, super chocolatey. And you know when your oatmeal is done, like when you press the top, and it springs back like that, the same as a cake would. And I like to let the oatmeal cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes before serving because it just helps the oatmeal set up and you will still have a bit of the melty chocolate chips but that's just gonna mean it's chocolatey and delicious. Okay, so our oatmeal has cooled a little bit. So I'm just gonna slice into it. And I like to slice it like a slice of pie. My little spatula. And then go ahead and scoop that out. And there you have baked chocolate oatmeal. And it will continue to firm up as it cools a little bit. Give it that little piece. And then I like to just drizzle a little almond butter over the oatmeal. So I just like to drizzle a little almond butter. Make it extra delicious. So we have our baked chocolate oatmeal with dried cherries and then a drizzle of almond butter. And it is still cooling, but we'll give it a taste and hopefully it's not too hot. It's so chocolatey, it's not too sweet, but you could also drizzle a little maple syrup over the baked oatmeal with the almond butter if you like things a little bit sweeter. We're getting that chocolate from the cocoa powder and then the chocolate chips, and then you get a little pop of the dried cherry. So if you love chocolate, I hope you give this recipe a try. I will have the recipe with all the written out instructions and the amount linked down below. As always, thanks for watching. Bye!